but we tried our best to keep uh, to hold on to the door they hit the door They hit the door, they shot at the door, they destroyed everything and everything. We did not know what was going on inside. Around one, uh, we heard the shooting back. Shmulik, the father of the house, told us it's the army of uh, the Indian and uh, Israel army has come to save us. I work in at the border in a kibbutz called Niroz. I am working there for three years. We are two caregivers working, taking care of an old lady, Rahel, with the ALS disease. It was my night duty and I was about to take my rest leave. At 6.30, we heard the sirens. We ran to the safety room. It was non-stop. We got a call from the daughter saying that things are out of our hand. We didn't know what to do. She asked us to lock the front and back doors. Uh, it was locked, so um, uh, within few minutes we heard the terrorists breaking into our house, shooting, breaking the glasses. Called her back and asked her, uh, asked Dalit what to do. Dalit is uh, the daughter of uh, Rahel. Asked her what to do. She told to hold on to the door, not to leave. Things are out of our hand. That's the thing she told us. We didn't know anything. We left our slippers aside to get the get hold of the to get the grip of the floor. We were there four and a half an hours hanging on the doors. Terrorists were in our house from seven thirty, almost seven thirty. They were trying to open the door from outside, but we tried our best to keep uh, to hold on to the door. 